I am really loving this trend of small specialist models and in this video we are going to have a look at this brand new model from IBM called as Tiny Time Mixer or TTM. One of the coolest thing about this model is that it is non-transformer model. Nothing wrong with transformers, I love transformers. The reason I am saying that it is unique and cool because it's always good to have choice, always. And that is why I can't wait to try this model on. In this video, first we will review this model, we will look at its architecture and then we will also run it on free Google Colab and see how it works. I will also plot the output of this model and then we will see how it performs. Now, before that, let's have a quick overview of this model. TLDR, TTM or Tiny Time Mixer is a lightweight MLP based foundation TS model, less than 1 million parameters, that's it. And it excels in zero shot forecasting, which means without any examples. And it even outperforms large state of the art models in some of the tasks. So that is the thing. And you need to remember that when we say that it outperforms any small model, any big model, it doesn't mean that it everything just in one specialized task. And I think that is all what is needed. For example, Llama 3 8 billion outperformed the larger Llama 2 70 billion on the MMLU task. Doesn't mean that Llama 3 8 billion is better than Llama 2 70 billion. What it means is that if there is a specific requirement which falls under MMLU tasks, you should look at a smaller model which is specialized in it rather than a generic big model. So Tiny Time Mixer introduced by IBM follows this approach where it uses small architecture, small parameter size to outperform much larger ones in some tasks. It is lightweight model that outperforms models like Morai, Times FM and few others and we have covered them on our channel. So this is what Tiny Time Mixer is all in all. Other than that, there are few key characteristics of this model. First and foremost, as I mentioned earlier, it is a non-transformer architecture. It is extremely fast because there is no attention mechanism. It only uses fully connected neural network layers. That's it. Also, it leverages TS Mixer, which is IBM's breakthrough time series model. It has it is capable of multivariate forecasting. TTM accepts extra channels, exogenous variables, and known future inputs, which enhances its forecasting versatility. TTM Quick Variant was pre-trained on 244 million samples of the Monash dataset using 6 A100 GPUs in less than 8 hours. That's it. TTM is pre-trained and can readily be used for zero-shot forecasting and has surpassed larger SOTA models on unseen data including the recent models as I mentioned Times FM. Also don't confuse it with the Google's model TS Mixer which was published few months ago. And interestingly enough, TS Mixer from Google is also an MLP based model and achieves significant performance. Fairly good model and we already have covered it on the channel. So now you know that what TTM is and its features include multi-level modeling, adaptive patching, resolution prefix tuning and a lot of other things. Let's have a quick look at its architecture. I know it seems very scary but I will try to keep it simple. So TS Mixer is precursor to TTM by the way. TS Mixer is a solid model but it cannot be used as a foundation model or handle external variable. TTM uses TS Mixer as a building block and it has introduced new features and that is how a non-transformer model was created that generalizes on unseen data. On the left hand side of this diagram you will see pre-training, on the right hand side it is fine tuning. Now, in the pre-training, the model is trained with univariate time series only. First, they have normalized per individual time series. The final output at the end are reverse normalized, which is a very standard practice. Then they have used patching, which is a widely successful technique in time series. Univariate sequences are split into n patches of size PL. Then the TTM backbone module applies adaptive patching and projects the patches from size P to HF. The TTM backbone is the heart of TTM. And then we have TTM decoder 
which has the same architecture as KTM backbone. Then they have forecast linear head that contains one fully connected layer and produces a final forecast. On the right hand side in the fine tuning the TTM backbone remains frozen and they only update the weights of the TTM decoder and forecast linear head. And they perform then few short forecasting and only train on 5% of trained data. And then they use multivariate data set in the fine tuning phase. And in this case channel mixing gets enabled in the TTM decoder. Optionally they can also activate the exogenous mixing block if you like. Okay, now you know what architecture of this model looks like. Let's have a quick look at the TTM backbone. I know another scary screen, but just remember that the core component of TTM model is TTM backbone, which enables resolution prefix tuning and adaptive patching, which I just described above. So in this one, a lot of math is happening, but don't worry about it. These are all embedding layers, which project the patches from one size to create the input embedding of size. That's it. Okay, let's go to the next screen. This is what we call as exogenous mixture. And this is very straightforward. When the future values of time series are known, they are used to guide the predictions of the target variable. And that is purple in the purple color. That's it. And then they have also shared some of the data around uh, benchmarking, as you can see in this table. Th this is where they are compar comparing TTM with other models for various prediction lengths in terms of MSE and IMP stands for improvement as you can see in this one. Okay, enough talk. Let's now use our Google Colab where we are going to run this model and see how it works. Let me first go to runtime, change the runtime to GPU which is free Google's GPU and let's git clone the repo of this IBM tsf.git and don't worry I'm going to also give you the link to this notebook you can also run it if you like so let's run to clone this repo let's wait for it to finish repo is cloned let's cd into it and that should be done too that is done let's quickly check what are <coughs> the components of this repo I'm just going to do the ls command here just to see what exactly lies in here there you go so what we need to do we need to install all the tsfm library which are included in the notebooks and it will make it for easier for us uh, to run it so it is processing it let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a bit of a time and that is also done it took fair bit of time around two minutes let's try to now import some of the libraries which we have installed from all the standard and first party third party and then also let's import the tiny time mixer let me run it let's wait for it to finish and that was quick let's import all the arguments so we are just giving it a random seed value here this is a target data set of course if you want you can use your own if you know what you are doing and then this is where the fine tune model will go which will be fine tuned on this one and then this is the revision one and these are all the context lengths as how many um, stuff it is going to process in one time and these are few of the forecasting stuff and now let's have a quick look at the data which we have imported in a tabular form Yep, there you go. So this is all the forecasting data which we have and this is where we are going to work on. And you see that there are around 70,000 rows with 8 columns. That is the shape of it. And now let's try to plot it, which gives us proper variate uh, sort of diagram. There you go. So it has very, very nicely plotted this series here. Looks really good. So this is how you can generate the output from it but if you are looking to fine tune it i can show you the command i'm not sure if it would be supported on google's t4 gpu but i can at least show you how to do it and we will run it too so this is where we are giving it the data type path we are just splitting it for the training and for the validation as you can see here we are giving it some of the times series preprocessor hyperparameters this is where split we are splitting a training validation and testing data set and then we will also check out what is the data uh, length. So this is the training set value, 
validation and the testing so that is done let's also have a quick look as how exactly it looks like i'm just going to pick a value from the training data set here so let's run it to see how it looks like there you go so it looks like this which is fine and it has just given us some of the information from the training data set and now <clears throat> if you want to do the zero shot evaluation for this TTSFM, all you need to do is to run this command so let me run it and it is using that ttm model here as you can see and small model so sorry if i just take you out just want to show you how it looks like there you go so this is our model just 3.24 megabyte that is the model and then it has done this forecasting here on the basis of it this is all showing what model looks like its decoder and then head and all that stuff how good this is i mean such a small model love it and then you can also um, use a zero shot trainer if you like if you want to train it on your custom data by simply using this zero shot trainer and they have provided all the code there so here you have just initialized it and then you can even evaluate your test data set with it something like this and this is going to run the evaluator there you go so it is running the evaluator because of the sizes it's not taking that much time which is awesome and then obviously you can do the plotting on the resultant data which was fine tuned something like this i'll just go to here though i'm just doing the plot predicts and let's wait for it it is going to produce a fine graph for us there you go you see these are all the prediction which has made all you need to do just grab your custom time series data feed it in and it is going to do the prediction here and it is just plotting it with the prediction and what exactly was happened so the purple line true prediction is this dotted yellow line so this is a zero shot similarly um, in the same notebook you will find the few shot fine tune if you like but all in all i think amazing stuff and really good to see a small model doing lot of things and packing lot of punches in its size so i believe i think um, this is a new model that follows a different approach and paves the way for smaller but efficient model specifically ttm didn't use a tensor or any transformer based methodology which is really amazing the first time series with model uh, with meta learning capability capability that only used mlps and they were n bits and n hits and now this model i think this is going to be huge and i hope that it doesn't you know meet the fate of other non-transformer models like mamba which was state space xlstm which was rnn based and hyena which was uh, cnn based but let's see how this one goes let me know your thoughts in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching